Here at RedHouseMountainRealty.com, David and Ricky Chester have got this fantastic map search. Let me just show you a little bit about how it works. So, for example, um, my son was living up in Parker. So if I want, I can kind of move this around. So as I zoom in and out, this gives me more uh, information. It doesn't look like there's a lot in Parker. There we go. As I zoom in, I can get a lot more. But let's say, for example, that I just want to look over here uh, in this area, which is, uh, this is actually near where my son lived, right off Jordan Road. So say I say I want to come over here uh, between this park and I kind of draw a little line through here. And then I want to come down uh, Parker Road. And then maybe come across up on this uh, road here. And you can make these as detailed as you want them to be. Uh, let me put one more mark here. And I'll come back here. So now it's just limiting my searches to this area. So if I say, well, uh, you know, we have a pretty good sized family. We just want homes that have four bedrooms or above because we're also going to want an office. And then, uh, you know, we're kind of on a budget here. And so we want homes, um, looks like below 500,000. Oops. There we go. I put 200 there for some reason, but let's bump that over to 500. And so now I can see, well, these are the only uh, properties available. Again, I, you know, as I move in here and I can zoom into these a little closer, it's only showing the properties in that area that I want. So another way to do this is to say, well, um, here's the Centennial Airport. And uh, I'm going to get rid of that thing. And let's just say that my son was actually working on a construction project over here by Centennial Airport. I think their offices were up here. And so he says, that's where our headquarters is, is right there on that dot. And I want to find homes within a five mile radius. So something like that. So now this is only showing the homes in that area. Again, it's keeping these uh, search criteria. So let's say we say, well, if it's got four bedrooms, we want it to also have four baths. And we're just kind of dialing this down a little bit. And we can see the homes uh, that are available within five miles of, of Centennial Airport. And again, if I need to, I can kind of zoom in and out here to, to see, you know, this whole this whole project. So if I if he wants to live within five miles of his employment, then he would he would get these types of properties. You can modify that by clicking the pencil. Um, it says drag the handle to resize. So I can say, well, let's bring that in. That was too many. We really maybe he's going to ride his bike to work, and so we want something within three miles. And so let's save that. And so now we start saying, hey, if he wants to live within three miles of that office, uh, he's got these two options. He can rent over here on Rosemary Circle, and he's got four beds and four baths. Or he can buy this home, which is actually under contract. So maybe we say, well, let's clear out. We'll take any bedrooms at this point. And there's some more search criteria here where I can say, well, I just want it in this particular MLS area, which I think most people won't do, but I can search by certain property types. And I can even put square footage. Um, so for example, that's 28, 29, 2000, and 68 down here. So we say, well, we only want homes that have uh, at least 2,200 square feet. So we just zapped out some of our listings. And, and you can you can move around with these things. 
you can actually click on this little arrow and it's got a geo tracking thing that'll show uh, where you are in relationship to or homes that are near you. I'm in southern Utah, so if I click that, it's just not going to work for me. Another um, thing you can do here is if you say, well, um, we actually want to go look at homes in Castle Rock. So it's probably not showing anything because I have that circle up there. So let me remove that. So this is just, this doesn't limit me to Castle Rock. It just takes me there. So if I go back up and I say, well, I want to go up to Centennial. So I can see, uh, you know, properties in my uh, search criteria. And uh, as we move around, you can see that it's loading properties out here in Parker and stuff. But we just took us to Centennial, uh, you know, to start our to start our search. So you can do this for any uh, area. You know, like again, if I click on this property, all of a sudden it's going to bring it here. Uh, if I click on this one, it brings it up into focus. So we can we can move around uh, through these properties like that. You can zoom into a sp specific area and uh, but we think this is a great tool. The map search can be really helpful to really dial in on an area that you're looking for. Uh, maybe a subdivision over here or around the golf course or near work or it uh, if you know a school district um, outline or a map, or you can say, I think this school district generally runs, you know, along Hilltop Drive, and then it, it kind of cuts through here and then comes around over here. You know, you can you can kind of make these, you know, pretty much as as detailed as you as you need them to be, and. Uh, get all kinds of crazy shapes in here and get right to the homes that you're looking for. So that's the map search at redhousemountainrealty.com.